Hi, this is Rick again. And in this section, uh, we're going to be looking at how to create an outbound campaign. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we're in an administration menu. And we're going to click on campaigns. As you see, we have some options up here now. So we're going to add a new campaign. All right, we're going to give the campaign ID. Remember, no spaces. So it's going to be test underscore out which would be test outbound campaign. Uh, we're going to make sure it's active. Uh, we're going to get into the music on hold a little later. Uh, we're going to set an auto dial level. We're going to leave it so we can explain it to you in a little bit later. Uh, next engine call, we're going to set it to, hmm, let's say longest wait time that way uh, the agent that waits the longest for a call will actually receive the call first. Uh, we're going to leave the default calling time just for now until we get into it. Uh, scripts, uh, I do have one prepared in this call notes that came with the server and we're going to make sure that the thing that launches when the call comes in is going to be the script. If you do have a web form uh, you can actually put the URL here and set the call launch to web form and then your web form will pop up automatically when the call comes in. So once we have submitted, uh, we notice that we have a couple of other options available to us now. <clears throat> so let's go through the basic options to get the campaign going. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add dial statuses. Uh, the dial statuses uh, are the statuses given to the calls when something happens with the call, whether it's answered, whether it's busy, whether it's disconnected, whether it's an answering machine. Um, the system can generate automatic dial statuses. Also, the agent can do that too, and we're going to look at that a little later also. So let's add some dial statuses. And we want to make sure that the system tells me when they get answering machines. Uh, also, busy. If the phone's busy, we want to know. Uh, let's see. Let's do a no answer. So the phone no answer. We will know. Okay, and that's pretty much it for right now. Now, these dial statuses will help with the lead recycling also. Okay, uh, we want to know what numbers are available to be called back in case they didn't answer, they were busy, or we got an answering machine. So this is very important to set the dial statuses here. Um, since we are going to be using a outbound campaign, we want to instead of having them manually let's use an adapt and we're going to use the adapt hard limit now FYI uh, these little question marks here <coughs> will actually help you if you have issues or don't understand what one of the settings says they do give you some explanations like for example the adapt hard limit will dial predictably up to the drop percentage and then not a lot of aggressive dialing once the drop limit is reached or until the percentage goes down again in other words, if I set my drop percentage limit down here <clears throat> to let's say only 3% of the calls, then when they drop 3% of the calls, then the dialer will slow down until that threshold level is diminished and they go down to 2%, then the system will go back up. Uh, another setting you might want to try is the available only tally. Now what this does, it will actually instead of counting all your agents in a queue, whether available or not, to make the phone calls to take the count to make the calls uh, setting this to yes will only grab and take account of the agents that are actually ready to take a call not the agents that are in call or the agents that have people on hold so this will control your drop rate too by doing this uh, the maximum adapt level is basically how many calls per available agent since we set this to yes since we set the tally to yes will it make so if I have three available agents then it'll be three times three which will be nine calls will be dialed automatically now this you might want to take into account what kind of how the leads are answering and adjust accordingly alright <clears throat> let's set the dial time we're going to set again we're going to leave the local time default, uh, the dial timeout basically how long is the phone going to keep ringing until something answers or something happens? 60 seconds, I think it seems a little too long. I usually go with 28 to 30 seconds. Um, there are prefixes. Uh, this we'll look into later. The campaign caller ID, if you have a number that you want the customer's call back or what shows up on the caller ID, then this is the place to set it. 
routing extensions. We're not going to get too extensively into this, but basically the ones that you want to look at at first would be 8368, which is the default, which just sends the calls, and 8369, which is used for automatic uh, answering machine detection. So if you want your agents to get less answering machines, just set it to 8369. Uh, the campaign recording, since most campaigns do require, or most products do require some kind of recording for compliance issues, then you might want to set this to all fours, and let's give this uh, a campaign file recording name, which is actually real good, so we're going to have the full date, the customer phone number, uh, we're going to put the agent, and we're going to put the campaign, so when we actually go look for these, we'll have the date that the call was made, the number that was called the agent number that took it and the campaign that it belonged to. Uh, let's see. All right, we got already the the automatic call on should be the script. If you do have any numbers like uh, third-party verifications or anything like that that you want them to set for the presets in the agent GUI, then this is where you set it uh, for number one, number two, number three. It's up to five presets. And you can also preset dial tones. So, in case they need to input some kind of agent code into an automated system instead of having them use the SIP, the, the SIP phones, uh, they can actually pre program the codes here and then it will automatically pop them in as soon as they press the button. Uh, we want to make sure that if you do this, that this is enabled. Um, let's see what else we're going to be looking at here. Uh, use the internal do not call list. This is always a good idea to activate on your on your systems for all your campaigns and do keep it updated if you guys get a report of doing the calls just make sure you add it and we will look that we will look at into that into later uh, into later um, later sections of the video so you guys can learn how to do that which is fairly simple another thing we want to do is we want to activate the agent pause codes uh, basically what these do is that if an agent is not ready to take a call uh, they have to tell you a reason why. In other words, if they hit the pause button to say, hey, I'm not going to take a call right now, um, they will ask them for a reason that you preset them. We'll look, go into that to show you how to set those up. Basically, if they're going to break, lunch, bathroom, whatever, this is where you set the pause codes. <clears throat> Let me see. We're going to leave all this other things alone for now. Everything seems to be good. All right, and we're going to submit. And what we have now created is a predictive dialer uh, outbound campaign. All set. All right. Then we'll move on to the next.